Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I use ChatGPT and AI to come up with converted content ideas that allow me to post on social media and drive high ticket clients for my B2B online company. This works in a bunch of different niches. Here are some of our clients' results. And using AI just helps us get the end result in a much faster time frame. Nick here basically 20x his subscriber growth and clients as well using these AI content strategies. All right, I'm going to go through two methods. I'm going to give you the actual ChatGPT prompts right here so you can just copy and paste them. I'm also going to give you this sheet you can go ahead and use to organize your content ideas as well. It's all going to be covered in this video. And to get the most out of this video, I highly recommend you watch this video that pops up on the screen, which is how I come up with content ideas without using AI. I go over the basics, step one through five, of how to come up with converting content ideas that draw your dream clients to you and allow you to close high ticket deals. If you understand this, then using AI will just help you do this process much faster. Please do watch that video so you can understand the fundamentals. AI strictly is used for speed and getting to results faster. All right, with that being said, let's jump right into method number one. All right, guys, method number one is going to be working backwards from a dream client. I'm going to give you the chat GPT prompt and explain what this means in a second. But first, you have to understand why content works specifically on YouTube. Content solves this crucial, crucial gap, which is I'm going to label trust. If people do not trust you, they will not buy from you. All right, so how do you turn someone that's cold, a cold viewer, a first time seer of your content into someone that is a sales call or trusts you enough to become one of your clients and give you money, right? That is all bridged by trust and you bridge this gap with content, all right? It's one of the only ways you can bridge this gap by creating content that allows people to trust you and then hopefully buy from you and become a lead in the future or a sales call as well. So that is why we create content. That is why content actually works. All right, so method number one is working backwards from a dream client and you're gonna use your ICP. All an ICP is an ideal client profile. Search it up on Google. It's basically a dream client. You need to understand who your dream client is to really make sure this content idea works. If you guys do not understand your dream clients. How could you expect to create content that attracts them? You have to understand your ICP or your dream client. You have to understand the questions they have, the pain points they have, and the desires they have. All right, some questions you could ask yourself about your ICP, like this is how to formulate your ICP, is what business do they run? What niche are they in? What is their revenue? What is their experience? What is their demographic, like their age, their location, uh, et cetera? All right, so you have to know these details about your ICP. The more you could target and have a great idea of who your ICP is, the easier it will be to use this system to create content ideas that attract this ICP. All right, so please do formulate an ICP. I'm gonna go into the chat GPT prompt as well as how to store this content ideas as well. All right, so first of all, you're gonna need a chat GPT plus account. I think it's 20 bucks a month, definitely worth it. And you're gonna copy and paste this prompt here. So I'm gonna copy and paste it. And why I highlighted this up here is because you're gonna obviously change this. You're gonna obviously change this up here. All right, so I run an AI marketing company where we help you do businesses, solopreneurs, and coaches book 10 to 30 sales calls a month, leveraging the AI content funnel. That is my offer, that is who I help. You're gonna to have to change this for your own business, obviously. All right, so just copy and paste this and go ahead and head over to ChatGPT. You're just gonna paste it in and you're gonna hit enter. So while this generates, I'm gonna explain what this prompt means. All right, essentially I'm asking ChatGPT to say, hey, I gave you my ideal client. I gave you my service. I gave you who I'm targeting. I need you to think like my ICP, like my dream client, and come up with 20 questions on what their pain points are, what their mental doubts are, what their bottlenecks are, how they could double their business, and how they could save more time. I'm asking ChatGPT to identify problems that my dream clients have. And when I have the problems that my dream clients are facing, I could create content around solving those problems and thus attracting those people to my videos and to my offer. All right, if that doesn't make sense, leave a comment. That is crucial to understand. You need to understand your ICP or your dream client's situation and their pain points to then get solutions, to then turn those solutions into content ideas and have those content ideas bring you those clients. All right, so as you can see, ChatGPT is very good. It spit out 20 FAQs for pain points, mental doubts, how they could double their business and then how they could save time doing so. I'm just gonna use one of these examples here. I'm just gonna copy the pain points. All right, so I'm gonna copy these 20 pain points. I'm gonna hit copy and go over to my content organization. This is super, super easy to set up. It's just three categories, your check boxes, your ICP pain points that has a drop down, and then the FAQ, which is where we're gonna paste these 20 right now. All right, so there we go. Now the ICP pain point here is pain point and I could drag all this down. If you guys don't know how to create like drop downs, it's super, super easy. You're gonna to go to, uh, just go to random row. You're gonna go into insert. I believe there is a drop down here. And then you're just gonna label it basically these five pain points. So you're gonna label it, Pain point, bottleneck, mental doubts, double business, save time. Uh, and then you can put those there. That is how you create a really simple checklist. Um, super easy. And the checkbox is the same way. You just go here, 
insert. Uh, and then I believe there's checkboxes. Yep, checkbox here. That's pretty much it. The checkbox is just to track what you've posted before um, and stuff like that. Now, basically, if you do this, and I'm going to do this right now and pause the video and come back. All right, guys, I filled out the rest of the Google Sheet here. And as you can see, I have 100 FAQs about my ICP or my dream client on what their problems are, their pain points, their mental doubts, their bottlenecks in their business, how they want to double their business, and how they want to save time in doing so. These all relate to my business. These are literally 100 content ideas for me. Now, I want to go back and give you guys a little bit of a warning here. These are not titles, right? This is just to give you a head start on content ideation. If you want a video on titles and how to optimize titles, that'll be a whole nother video. Just comment the word titles down below and I can help you out. But this is just formulating the idea. Let's just pick a random one here. Well, I still need a marketing team if I use AI tools. So how could we spin this into a video? The video could be eight AI tools to replace your marketing department. Boom, that's a title, that's a content idea. Let's go to another one, how to double the business. How do I build all these scalable content strategies that will grow with my business? You could have a video titled the best content strategy for blank niche in under 30 minutes. That would be another title video, right? I could just spit these title videos off of my head because that's what we do for all of our clients. But it will be very, very easy to go ahead and find highly converting content ideas with a hundred plus FAQs from your dream client. All right. So that is method one. Super simple, guys. You're simply just understanding your client's problems and solving those problems with your content. All right. And all of these questions, again, can be spun into a content idea given a title and a converting thumbnail and all the stuff that I'll cover in another video. All right, guys, now we're going to move on to method two, which is a little bit different than method one. In method one, where we're utilizing AI to give us pain points of our dream clients, and then we use those pain points to come up with content ideas. Method two is a little bit different because we're going to be doing the exercise of content buckets, and we're actually going to be using AI to just directly give us content ideas. As you can see, the ChatGPT prompt is a little bit bigger. The whole prompt for both of this, as well as the content organization, you can make a copy of it. All of the instructions to claim this stuff is in the description, all right? Now, content bucket is super, super simple. I'm going to use attractai.io, which is our company. I'm going to use our own offer in our own business as an example. All right, so every single one of your guys' businesses can be split up into different buckets or departments or offers, all right? We're just going to call them buckets, all right? So for example, under Attract AI, we have three main buckets. It is more complex than this, but three main buckets, our YouTube lead generation funnel, our AI content infrastructure, and our conversion mechanisms, all right? And under these buckets are sub buckets, right? You could get as in-depth as you want, and I highly recommend that you draw something like this out. Don't have to go do something fancy. You literally just need paper and pencil and you could draw this out. Uh, but under these buckets are smaller buckets. So under YouTube lead gen is content strategy and video packaging. Under our content AI infrastructure, AI content infrastructure, we have automated repurposing, AI script writing, and other conversion mechanisms. We have landing pages and email nurturing sequences. All right. So every single one of these things are in some way what attract AI, what our company does. All right. And we're going to use this, this visualization in this prompt. So make sure, again, you draw this out. You understand what your business does. You understand your content buckets or your buckets. And we're going to turn these buckets into like content ideas, which you're going to see using this chat GPT prompt. Chat GPT prompt is much more in depth and this is highly tailored to my business. So you're going to have to write a lot of this stuff out yourself. I'll give you the general structure uh, and the resource down below, but make sure you're writing this stuff out and just take some time on this, right? Because the better the prompt, the better results you're going to get. All right. So as you can see here, I'm not going to read this whole thing out, but I just talk about what my business does, who our ICP is, what we actually do, the funnel we use for our clients. And at the end, this is important. I say the main content ideas I need are centered around these services my company offers. YouTube lead gen funnel, AI content infrastructure, and conversion mechanisms, aka the three things I sort of bucketed out um, in my exercise. So again, do this because it'll help you visualize and help you enter it into the prompt. All right. And then I say, here's a brief description of every single one of our company's offers right here. YouTube lead gen funnel, I explain what it is. Our AI content infrastructure, I explain what it is. Our conversion mechanisms, I explain what it is. It's pretty much exactly what I do for our clients. If you want to know basically what this is, we have a whole free document down below as well. that will explain like what this stuff is like the AI content infrastructure, etc. But this is where our company does. And I'm going to stuff this into chat GPT right now. So I'm going to hit copy and go over to chat GPT, and then you window and hit paste. And I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to go over to our sheet here. So again, we already have 100 content ideas here. I'm going to go over to method two, which is very, very similar. All right. See, I have the three buckets here that I had in uh, the exercise I drew out. So I go ahead and just match up this ICP pain point the drop down these to these pretty simple. And while this spits out, I'll show you basically what is going to happen. All right. And as you can see, chat GPT did its thing. YouTube lead gen funnel. That's bucket number one, our AI content infrastructure, which is bucket number two conversion mechanisms is bucket number three. And under every single one of these buckets is 25 converting YouTube content ideas. Now these are not the best. All right. 
these are not good titles per se. You're going to have to come up with your own titles. You have to do your title research and stuff like that because titles are super important on YouTube. But this will give you a very good place to start. Like, like, look at this video. Creating a YouTube content calendar to consistently drive leads. That's a pretty good idea. And it's under YouTube lead gen funnel, which is proof that the prompt that I put in is working. All right. This is pretty, pretty good stuff. Let's see what else here. AI content infrastructure. Why AI is a secret weapon for scaling your content creation as a consultant. Now, why does it say consultant? Because I prompted it saying, hey, my ICP is a consultant. So ChatGPT drew on the knowledge base I gave it and spit out a content idea that's hyper personalized to my business and who I'm targeting, right? This is why it works so well is because the prompt is detailed enough, but not too over, overly complex where you could get really good content ideas to kickstart your journey on YouTube. Again, you have to have a good thumbnail title description actually a good hook in the video there's so much other stuff that goes into content but this is a very good place to start there's no excuse not to start content in 2024 all right now what we're going to do is very simple to the last one we're just going to copy and paste these content ideas go over to our method two i'm going to go ahead and copy and paste them down here and then the icp for this first one youtube lead gen funnel drag this down and we'll do the same. I'm not going to do it, but you understand the concept. And then once you start creating these videos, you just check box it off and you could add other stuff like YouTube, Instagram, you know, and so on. All right. So that is method number two. And at the end of this method, you know, you have 175, if we count these other 50, 175 content ideas for you to start creating to attract your dream clients. Guys, there is no excuse not to create content in 2024 that brings in your ideal clients. I'm telling you every single month, I drive tons of business using content alone. You don't have to do ads or outreach. All you need to do is create highly converting content. Now you could do so using AI. Again, there's no excuse because all this stuff will also be in the description. If you want us to do all of this for you, for your business custom to you, hop on a free strategy session with me down below and describe basically what we offer and how we can help. If not, claim the free resources in the description, use AI to come up with content ideas and start posting content. It has changed my life and my business. And I highly recommend you do so for your own business. I will see you in the next video. If you have any questions, let me know. Please watch this video next. I think it should help out as well. See you there.